Hello and welcome to another Game Salad tutorial. I'm Optimistic for gshelper.com and today we're going to be running through adding chart boost reward video ads to your Game Salad project. This uh, was specially requested by someone on the forums. So in this example, what we'll be doing is rewarding the player with 10 coins after watching the reward video. So let's start with our blank project in Game Salad. And we're going to create three actors. These are the names I, I gave them temporarily. One, click me to earn coins. Two, coin counter. And three, reward monitor. We're also going to need to create two scenes because the reward video action actually takes place, takes place on the pause scene behavior. So you can go ahead and create two scenes. On our main scene, we'll be adding two actors, the coin counter, that goes here, and the click me to earn coins, which goes here. On the click me to earn coins actor, we'll add a display text behavior, and a rule, a simple rule that says when touch is pressed, we're going to pause the game and go directly to the scene reward video pause. And let's make sure that reward video add is selected. On the coin counter actor, this is going to be displaying the current coin balance in the game. So that if, if we hit preview right now, it's going to show that no coins are available. Let's go to the reward video pause scene that we created. The reward monitor actor now. And here, what we'll do first is create an integer attribute called the add checker counter. I left a note in here that says that we basically use this, this attribute to run a check on chart boost servers to make sure that ads are available. Let's say that uh, your player isn't connected to the internet at, at the current time. Instead of having the game freeze, what will happen is they'll, it'll display a countdown and once that countdown reaches zero, it'll uh, return the player to the game letting them know that no ads are available at this time. How do we do that? Uh, first of all, this is a, a reset attribute so whenever the scene is open the add checker counter value goes back up to 5. This is where the magic happens. Once add is finished, reward the player. So we go when game add reward value is 1 Let's change the coins attribute to coins plus 10. This is the value that the coins will be going up by. And after one second, let's unpause the game and carry the player back to the take the player back to the action. This is where when the game add reward value is zero. Let's start this add checker counter countdown so that when it hits zero, it's going to display no ad available. And after one second, it's going to take the player back to this to back to the game. Let's see what happens. Let, let me show you what happens. T tap me to watch a video. Obviously, this isn't connected to chart boost at the moment. So it should just show the countdown and take the player back. Loading ad. no ad available and the game continues. So this is all expected behavior. Alright, now let's take a look at what we need to do on chart boost end. <clears throat> on chart, bo chart boost, sorry, you will go ahead and create a new game. Select the orientation of the project if you're about to test, go ahead and enable test mode. And once you hit save, Chart Boost is going to provide you with these two codes that we will copy and paste into the Game Salad Publishing Portal. Platform, Services, Chart Boost, and these are your two codes. Once these are listed in place and we're ready to publish, Go all the way, scroll all the way down and ensure that interstitial ads chart boost are selected. And 
that should be it. You should be able now to preview your game on your device, create a test build, and you will be able to see the reward in action.